Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be doing a straight pour. Um, I am trying to get a bunch of videos recorded because I'm going away to uh, London on the 24th of August and we're gonna be gone for like four days. So I'm trying to uh, get a bunch of videos recorded now because I'm working straight through right up until I leave for London. So uh, there won't be any uh, dried results in these, unfortunately, but I'll show them to you in uh, when I get back. All right, let's get down on the canvas and let's get started. Okay, uh, forgive my messy table. I figured since I was painting, I would just go ahead and paint right over top of the plastic that I've got down here to help save some time. Uh, so today I've got a 16 by 20 gallery wrap canvas. Well, like I said, we're gonna do a straight pour. So let's show you the colors. Colors today are going to be Arteza and the Pearl Turquoise. Deco Art 24 karat gold. We've got the Creative Inspirations in the Titanium White. We've got Amsterdam and the Permanent Red Violet. Beautiful color. I'm using Amsterdam in the Expert Series in the Indigo and Arteza in the pearl sea green. Now this indigo from uh, Amsterdam almost looks like Payne's Gray from like Creative Inspirations and Golden. Um, all my paints are mixed with Liquitex Gloss bar uh, Medium and then paint and Floatrol. So what I've got here is about half an ounce of Gloss Medium about an ounce and a half of paint and then flow a draw. These are nine ounce cups. All right, so we're only gonna need about 10 ounces of paint. I've got a 16 ounce cup. I'll probably put a little extra in there because that's how I roll. We're gonna start off with the pearl turquoise, which I'm really in love with this color. Some gold. That's going to go really nice together. And as we know, white and gold play well with each other. Permanent red violet. Indigo. See green. say that's about 10 ounces of paint okay so I'm having a little bit of fun with my spinner lately I don't spin out the canvas after I poured my paint but I'm enjoying pouring and turning my canvas um, with ring pour straight pours when you pour out straight uh, you know you kind of get the same colors in the same areas uh, so what I'm gonna do is a lot of people will and I do this too I will turn my cup like this, but I feel like that's a lot more work on my wrist. And um, I don't wanna really risk any mixing of the paint inside the cup. Not that turning's gonna do all that much mixing, but depends how violent your turn is. But I feel, I'm finding that when I pour and I turn my canvas like so, 
then the colors are ensured to get everywhere I want to go. So you don't end up with one color on one side and the other colors on the other side. You kind of get an even uh, pour. So uh, I am going to start off low and then I'm going to pour up high and just keep going back and forth, back and forth. I think I'm going to pour into just a little bit of gold here. Not much. All right. This is given some circular motion because I poured in that, I spun it out like that. So now I've got a really nice composition. All the colors are on all sides. So let's move this out of the way now. I'm really having fun doing this type of technique with, this, with the uh, spinner. I was thinking about wrecking it. I don't know if I should or not. All right, I'm really contemplating on wrecking it. I'm loving all the lines I'm getting and, um, but I'm not super, super crazy about the center. So I think that's going to stretch out, but I'm not sure it's gonna uh, produce a center that I'm gonna love. So instead of pouring my flow extender down now, I am gonna wreck, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna wreck too much. Um, just kind of give something for that center there. extra paint sitting around so we're going to use that for floor extender okay get this light torch Now I'm gonna open it up.
Well guys, I think I wrecked too much. I'm not enjoying the center whatsoever. I'm digging the color combination, I'm just not digging the center. So I am going to redo this in the exact same way. I'm going to turn the canvas as I tilt, or excuse me, as I pour. But then I will, um, I'm not gonna wreck it this time. I'm gonna do just a standard straight pour. Take two, all right. Start here in the middle. Give this a little spin. Pour up high, you get a little bit of blending of the color. Come back down low, get those fingerlings. All right, let's give this another shot. Got a little more paint on here this time.
All right, much better. Second pour is always the best. So what I'm getting here is some really large fingerlings happening through here. I'm loving the center, love the edges. I love the gold and white, the way that it's playing. Really cool, I'm glad I report this. So let's, uh, let me clean up the edges. I'll torch and then I'll bring you guys in. Here we are with the wet result, loving it. I'm loving the huge fingerlings, the gold and white. I'm really loving these uh, Arteza colors, the pearl turquoise and the seafoam green, just really beautiful working in here. So let's start up here. Okay, everyone, that's going to do it today's video. Thanks for watching. Again, I'll have to show you the drive results in a future video, probably two or three videos from now, because I will be going to work um, leaving today, Monday, and I'm going to be working for eight days in a row, right up until it's time for me to go away for vacation. So again, I'm trying to get some paintings done before I go. All right, everyone, take care. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post new video content. Have a great day. Bye-bye.